what a bouncy beauty so sophisticated and refined she's a boy who doesn't show it and though the guys all know it none of them seems to mind when betty starts a bopping the joint starts a hop and she can twist and bend the whole night through you really can't ignore her and if you don't adore her there might be something wrong Se ci sto, per le cose che vuoi ma non conta su me per venire da te Ti verrò a passeggio con te o se vuoi 
puoi portarmi in un bar, mi puoi dire Mille frasi d'amor ma non conta su me per venire da te E se ciò non ti piacerà oh, oh, Penserò che non mami più Oh che tu sei cambiato perché tu prima con me non eri così Se ci sto per il cinema Se ci sto per il twist di cia cia Chiudi pure tutto quello che vuoi Ma non conta su me per venire da te Per il cinema se ci sto, per il twist di cia cia che di pure, tutto quello che vuoi ma non conta su me per venire da te. Si verrò a passeggio con te o se vuoi, puoi portarmi in un bar, mi puoi dire, mille frasi d'amor ma non conta su me per venire da te. Oh, oh, oh. Ma non conta su me per venire da te, oh oh da te, oh oh da te, oh oh da te. Hi, I'm Barra Fairley. I grew up in Israel in a town called Hoda Sharon. It's very free, childhood living. Yeah, I was a happy kid. I don't remember my first modeling job. I know of that shoot, but I would never remember. I was eight months old. I was just holding a spoon with a bow. And it's really, really cute. Maybe because I was such a tomboy in real life, I felt like I could be different in front of the camera. So the first time we shot Sports Illustrated was in Jamaica, and I hardly, I don't remember really what happened because I was so excited and I was nervous, you know, whether I'm doing the right thing or not. The second time we shot in Israel and I was so excited because we were shooting in my home country. the web, I go to Swim Daily. Check out Swim Daily at SI.com. Hi, I'm Barra Fairley. I grew up in Israel in a town called Hoda Sharon. I always thought I would model because I've been doing it since I'm eight months old. Maybe because I was such a tomboy in real life, I felt like I could be different in front of the camera. This is my third year doing a Sports Illustrated issue. I'm really, really relaxed and I'm just really having a good time.
I had to describe Raphael in one word, I would say weird. <laughs> Which is awesome because, you know, that's the artistic side of him. It's not in a bad way. There's a freedom there. Like, he let me do what I want, but he still knows exactly what he wants to get out of it.